this is uh, actually a dense cloud of dust that somehow did not produce until recently a tail, uh, or uh, this is not a rock. The universe just sent us a postcard, and what's written on it is terrifying. An object from another star known as 3i Atlas has been analyzed, and the results are baffling. This visitor is carrying the chemical signature of its home solar system, and it looks nothing like ours. It's made of a bizarre mix of materials that points to a violent and chaotic past. Many people are crazy about what this means for our search for alien life. The thing is, this object might not just be a clue, it could be a warning. A messenger from another star. Out in the cold, silent darkness of space, something is moving. It's a traveler, a wanderer that has journeyed for millions, maybe even billions of years. It came from a star system far, far away, a place we will never see. And for a brief moment, it passed through our cosmic neighborhood. Its name is 3i Atlas, and it is the third interstellar object humanity has ever detected. But this one is different. This one is a ghost. You see, unlike the previous interstellar visitors, Oumuamua and Borisov, this one was spotted as it was leaving. We caught only its fading reflection as it sped away, back into the endless night. But what our telescope saw in that fleeting glimpse is so strange, so utterly baffling, that it is shaking the very foundations of astronomy. 3i Atlas is not just a rock. It's a puzzle that defies our understanding of how solar systems are even built. The story begins with a faint smudge of light captured by the Atlas Survey Telescope in Hawaii. At first, astronomers thought it was just another comet from the outer edges of our own solar system. But when they calculated its path, they got a shock. Its trajectory was all wrong. It was moving too fast, and its angle was too extreme. This object wasn't from around here. It was a tourist from another star. But the real mystery started when scientists began to analyze the light reflecting off its surface a technique called spectroscopy. This is how we figure out what things in space are made of. Every element, every chemical, has a unique light signature, like a fingerprint. And the fingerprint of 3i Atlas was like nothing anyone had ever seen before. The thing nobody tells you is that our solar system was built from a very specific recipe of materials. We know what comets and asteroids are supposed to look like. They are mostly made of water ice, rock, dust, and frozen gases, like carbon monoxide. But 3i Atlas threw that recipe book out the window. Spectrographs showed that it was incredibly rich in carbon dioxide ice, also known as dry ice. In fact, it seemed to be made almost entirely of it. This was the first major red flag. In our solar system, objects this rich in carbon dioxide are extremely rare. Where did all this dry ice come from? It was a clue that the place this object was born was very, very different from our own cosmic backyard. But that was just the beginning of the weirdness. As scientists from the University of Hawaii pointed their most powerful telescopes at the retreating object, they noticed something else that made their jaws drop. The light bouncing off 3i Atlas was behaving in a way that our laws of physics say should be impossible. They were measuring its polarization, which is basically the direction the light waves are wiggling. Normally, light from a comet should have what is called positive polarization. But the light from 3i Atlas had a strong negative polarization. It was a reading that had never been seen before from any comet or asteroid in our solar system. The scientists checked their data. They checked it again. There was no mistake. The object was breaking the rules. It was as if you threw a ball up and it decided to fall sideways instead of down. This was a true what the heck moment for the entire scientific community. What could cause such a bizarre effect? The physics as we know it simply has no answer. It points to a surface material so exotic, so alien, that we don't even have a category for it. But the most shocking discovery was yet to come. Deep within the light signature, buried in the data, was another chemical fingerprint. It was a metal, nickel. But it wasn't just there. It was there all by itself. Normally, when you find nickel in a space object, you also find a lot of iron. The two elements are cosmic best friends. They are almost always found together. 
but 3i Atlas had a significant amount of nickel with almost no iron present. This is another chemical impossibility based on how stars and planets are formed. To separate nickel from iron on this scale would require an insane amount of energy, the kind of energy found in the most violent events in the universe. It was the final piece of a puzzle that spelled out a terrifying conclusion. Whatever 3i Atlas is, it came from a place of unimaginable cosmic violence. This object's bizarre chemistry is a clue to its violent home. The birthplace of a monster. So we have a visitor from another star that breaks our laws of physics and is made of a chemical mix that shouldn't exist. Where in the universe could such a monster be born? Scientists began to play detective, looking for cosmic crime scenes that could explain the evidence. What kind of event could produce an object made of dry ice, with a physics-defying surface, and pure nickel? The list of suspects was short and terrifying. One of the leading theories points to an event called a kilonova. This is one of the most powerful and destructive events in the entire cosmos. It happens when two neutron stars, the super-dense dead cores of massive stars, spiral into each other and merge. Imagine two objects, each more massive than our sun, crushed down into a space the size of a city. Now imagine them spinning around each other thousands of times a second before slamming together. The explosion that results is a thousand times brighter than a regular nova. In this cosmic furnace, the laws of physics are pushed to their limits. The energy is so intense that it can forge the heaviest elements in the universe, like gold and platinum. And according to some models, it could also create pockets of pure nickel, ripped away from iron in the chaos. A kilonova would be like a cosmic bomb going off, and the shrapnel from that explosion would be shot out into the galaxy at incredible speeds. It's possible that 3i Atlas is a piece of that shrapnel, a fragment of a dead star system that was obliterated in a cataclysmic merger. Another possibility is just as violent. It involves what is known as an asymmetric supernova, a supernova is the explosion that happens when a giant star reaches the end of its life. Usually these explosions are fairly symmetrical, expanding outwards in a rough sphere. But what if the explosion was lopsided? If a massive star was spinning incredibly fast, or if it was in a tight binary system with another star, the explosion could be funneled into powerful jets. These jets would be like cosmic blowtorches, moving at nearly the speed of light. They would be so hot and so energetic that they could alter the chemistry of any surrounding material. This could explain the strange separation of nickel from iron. If a small, icy planet or a large comet happened to be in the path of one of these jets, it could be cooked, twisted, and then ejected from its home system entirely. 3i Atlas could be the burned and battered survivor of a star that went out not with a bang, but with a focused, planet-shattering blast. The thing is, both of these scenarios paint a picture of an alien solar system that is nothing like our calm, orderly home. They suggest a place of chaos and violence, a cosmic shooting gallery where planets are destroyed and their pieces are flung across the galaxy. This is one of the most shocking aspects of the discovery. For a long time, we've assumed that other solar systems would probably look a lot like ours. But 3i Atlas is telling us that this might be a very naive assumption. It suggests that there are solar systems out there that are born from and shaped by events of unimaginable power. The materials floating around in those systems could be wildly different from what we have here. This opens up a whole new set of possibilities for what alien planets might be made of and what kind of life they could potentially support. If the building blocks are this different, then the houses they build could be different too. What people don't notice is that the trajectory of 3i Atlas is another piece of the puzzle. It came from the direction of the galactic center, a place where stars are packed much more closely together. The chances of extreme events like kilonovas and supernovas are much higher in that dense, chaotic environment. It's like the rough neighborhood of the galaxy. Our sun is out in the quiet suburbs, but 3i Atlas is a city kid, born in the fire and chaos of the galactic core. It is a messenger, and it's bringing us news from a part of the universe we are only just beginning to understand. It's telling us that the galaxy is a far more violent and far more interesting place than we ever knew. Its home was violent, but its journey here was almost impossible. 
a one in a billion shot. The journey of the interstellar object 3i Atlas is a story of impossible luck. You see, space is big, really, really big. The distances between stars are almost impossible for the human mind to comprehend. For a tiny object, probably no bigger than a few miles across, to be ejected from its home star system, and then, after millions of years of random wandering, happen to pass close enough to our sun for us to see it, is an incredible long shot. It's like throwing a single grain of sand off the top of the Empire State Building and having it land on a specific, marked pebble in Central Park. Scientists who study this kind of thing have run the numbers, and the results are mind-boggling. They calculate that for every one interstellar object we see, there have to be trillions of them wandering the galaxy. The Milky Way must be a giant cosmic recycling bin, filled with the leftover parts of other solar systems. But the improbability of the journey gets even stranger. One of the most shocking things is its path. It didn't just fly by in a random direction. Its path was almost perfectly aligned with the flat disk where all of our planets orbit. The odds of this happening by pure chance are less than 1%. It's like that grain of sand not only hitting the right pebble, but also landing perfectly flat. This has led some to ask a very controversial question. Was this a coincidence or was the path deliberate? The vast majority of scientists would say it is absolutely a coincidence. With trillions of objects out there, even one in a billion chances are bound to happen. But what people don't notice is that this is the third interstellar object we've seen, and all three have had strange trajectories. It raises the possibility that there might be streams or rivers of these objects flowing through the galaxy, like currents in an ocean. Maybe our solar system is just passing through an ancient cosmic debris field. This idea is fascinating suggesting the space between stars is filled with the ghosts of dead solar systems, a sea of frozen artifacts holding the secrets of their creation. But what if the explanation is something else entirely? When you are faced with a visitor from another star that breaks our laws of physics, follows an impossible path, and is made of a chemical mix that shouldn't exist, you have to wonder. The thing is, when you pile up all the anomalies of 3i Atlas, it becomes harder and harder to explain it away as coincidence. Famous scientists have suggested that when an object's properties are this far outside the norm, we should at least consider that it is not natural. This isn't about little green men. It's about following the data wherever it leads. Could the weird chemical signature, with its pure nickel and lack of iron, be a kind of atomic QR code? A message in a bottle from an advanced civilization designed to be so unnatural that any species that could read it would know it wasn't an accident? Was 3i Atlas just a weird rock or the first hint of something much bigger? What do you think is really out there? Let us know below and don't forget to like and subscribe.